Hey there, y'all. Disney Deep Prince here today. I've got another Barbie review, and this is some of the uh, furniture accessory packs. We've got the pizza oven kit, or the pizza oven set, and then the poolside relaxation set. Now, these I picked up, both of them, at Big Lots. I've had more luck finding these at Big Lots than I've had finding them in stores. Uh, in stores right now, you can find the doghouse accessory kit and then the, uh, the barbecue accessory kit, like the grill. I think those are the only two I've seen consistently around my area. Uh, but I know there's generally always three. Uh, this one, I'm missing one of them. Because see right here, we have the uh, yeah, furniture and accessories, is what they're called. Uh, so we have the pizza oven, then we have our poolside, and we have a picnic table. And I have not been able to find the picnic table, which is upsetting, but it's fine. Uh, so these are generally at about 10 bucks. Uh, they can go down lower in clearance. Uh, but I did pick both of these up at Big Lots because these were older and I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna get them. So we're gonna open these and look at them, look at the quality, and determine really the amount of pieces that they've got and the versatility. Because I like to buy dollhouses that are used and so they don't often have a lot of furniture in them. So that's what I'll do is I'll try to find furniture packs to really fill those rooms or dolls that come with furnitures, like the fridge Barbie or the bed Barbie, that kind of thing. So let's take a look at this one. So we've got our pizza oven set. Okay, so these can sometimes be a little tricky to open because they don't look like they have tape, but they do. And then they're not just taped, they're glued. So sometimes it's just easier to take them off like this, if you're gonna do that. Just because these do not always cooperate when you're trying to take them off of the boards. So let's take this little uh, uh, pizza paddle off. Look at this first. So this is the pizza paddle. It is pretty firm plastic, surprisingly. It does have a wood texture to it. So if you painted this to match this color, it would be a little more authentic. Uh, and then we've got the pizza oven area, or the brick, the brick oven pizza. So we've got our pizza. This is a big, a big piece that fits right there, or we can stick it right in the oven. There's not a little circle piece to clip that in, in the oven, unfortunately, but it's gonna stay in there really without a big problem. Um, and again, we've got two of these. These are individual little slices of pizza. And then those do have the little uh, table connectors down at the bottom to where you can just stick them into the little holes on the tables, which is nice. Uh, and then we've got our uh, pizza tools and accessories. So we've got our uh, lemonades. These both have the little uh, connectors that pop in. And again, they have little finger holds. And then we've got a little pizza slice uh, server and a pizza slicer. And then this little paddle hangs right there on the board. And then this does open up, so it's a little fridge. 
and the drawer also comes out. So if you're gonna store everything, you can just take it and put it all right into this drawer to where you're not having to worry if those pieces are getting lost. So that's what that looks like. It is pretty good quality. Uh, here's what the back of it looks like. There's no excess detailing on the back of this fridge. Uh, the wood, the wood pattern does continue. Uh, nothing really on this side over here, but this is a pretty nice little, uh, addition. This doesn't come off. So the pizza oven itself can't be like set on a, t set on a counter or anything, but for 10 bucks, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine pieces, 10 if you count the drawer that comes out on its own. So, I mean, pretty decent. Uh, kind of fun for like a patio kind of thing. You could set this by the pool. Uh, so that's what that one looks like. Now let's take a closer look at the, uh, at the summer fun one, which is what I'm gonna call it, a summer fun. Sometimes you just have to give these names because they don't give them names at Mattel. So let's just... Okay. So this looks like it is blown up. It even has like the creases and everything, but it's solid. It's hollow, but it's solid. Uh, and then we're going to this out uh, okay and so we've got this little float for the, your pet for your pets this is actually a water toy dog so she will squirt water out of her mouth uh, which is kind of a fun little summer accessory set uh, again when you take these out uh, just be careful to try not to tear your little holes in them, just because sometimes you are going to get fabric if you are not careful with cutting these little staples, which sucks, especially because most people's instinct is to just tear it out but when you do tear them out, you get a much bigger hole than you would have had. So here we've got the towel. It's a little beach towel. It's got some flamingos on it. It's kind of cute. It's thankfully one of the long towels. Uh, again, we've got some accessories. We've got a little pina colada, a little uh, sunscreen, and a water bottle. None of these have brands on them or anything like that. There's no printing on them, but it's easy enough to add your own little paint to those. And then we've got our sun visor that's gonna fit on all your dolls. A little tablet for reading by the pool. Just a little, that has little Barbie stuff on it. I think it's got Barbie DJ or something like that. And then you've got some little transparent pink glasses, which is actually kind of nice because most of the trans most of the pink glasses that I've seen are opaque and not transparent. So that's what you get with the summer set. So we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces for the summer set. So you're looking at about a dollar a piece for all of these, which is not bad. It's just uh, most of this is small compared to what we get with the uh, pizza set but because this is your main piece this little donut for your doll so I mean it's cute and you set your doll in there and uh, you know they have a nice relaxing float I doubt this would actually float in the uh, in water but you never know uh, you could try it because it does have air in it but I don't have a pool or a little uh, pond nearby where I could float that very easily. So that's what we've got 
with the uh, with the little like uh, furniture and accessory packs. They are cute. Uh, they're a pretty decent deal at 10 bucks. It's not out of anybody's uh, price range usually to get some little accessories for your... Uh, I mean, I shouldn't say it's not out of anyone's price range usually because it's not out of a collector's price range is what I should say. Uh, just because 10 bucks is, you know, and you add in some more play features, some more uh, uh, photography options and things like that. So that's what these are. And uh, there's not much else to these sets. You know, there's no hidden play features or anything like that. Uh, these are just Life in the Dream House sets. Uh, so all of this can be added on to any Barbie Dream House that you have or anything like that. Or regular just dollhouse, you can just put this stuff in. So, this has been Disney D Prints. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave a like or a comment. And don't forget to subscribe for some more fun reviews and things like that. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.